Well, welcome back to designing an Airstream using SketchUp. Part of the reason we're going on this avenue of instruction is so that our members have the opportunity that they can design a 3D model of their particular trailer to help them design layout, furnishing, plumbing, and other features about what they may want in their special one-off Airstream trailer. We've just finished doing a standard trailer design that really wasn't any particular year or model of Airstream. We are going to now move in looking at how to create the different models. Before we get right into that, I need to spend some time with you and talk about the Arc Tool. The Arc Tool is a special tool for making curves that's part of the SketchUp family of tools. It has some very wonderful purposes and it can do some things really really nice but it's got some things that can make it really difficult to work with and quite frustrating at times. So before we get into the more difficult designs I thought it would be important to spend some time looking at some curves, talking about curves and hopefully showing you how to make the kind of curve that you're looking for. I have two sets of examples here. The first set is just some simple arcs. Each one is made a little different. This one, the first one, is made just using the standard arc tool, drawing the two points and stretching out for the arc like we've done in the past. The thing I haven't explained in the past is the standard arc is a 12 section arc. One thing that needs to be understand about the way SketchUp draws, there are no real curves or no real circles in SketchUp. It's just a series of straight lines that give the illusion of a circle. And if you have enough straight lines connected together, then in fact to our eye it will look like a circle. There's also something in SketchUp called, called the Smooth Soften Edges tool right here. And part of the reason these look so nice is because of that tool. And so part of it is going to explain the purpose and the use of this tool in relationship. Now this arc was drawn the same way except this has six segments in the arc. This one drawn the same way except it only has three segments in the arc. And you can see by the time we get to the three segments you can pretty definitely see where those were. Where are the six? It's a little harder to see. Part of the reason for having the shadow setting turned on in this example is so you can see the light to dark shading that happens on a curved surface that helps us interpret and see that as a curve. And of course the 12 segment, the break between the white and the dark is much smoother as you get to fewer segments you can start to see the break here a little bit not much different from this one by the time we get to three segments in the arc you can definitely see the breaks you can even pick up the one in the light area now this curved surface was drawn very differently instead of using the arc tool it was the pencil tool or the line tool, pencil tool, line key was used and there was one, two, three, four lines that were drawn so it was quite angular and then the soften edges tool was used and really made it have a nice feeling of curveness but again we can really see where that break in plane is more obviously. Now one of the things that you can use to help see that is if you go up into uh, view and hit hidden, hidden excuse me geometry it draws a series of dotted lines to show you exactly where the division of all those planes are within the surface and what I'm going to do now is turn that hidden geometry off and I'm going to come over to the soften edges and I need to click on one of these so it will respond to it okay there we go you'll notice I have it set at about 50.9 and as I take and slide this back 
we will eventually get to the place and turn this off. Now, my guess is I haven't gone back far enough. There we go. See, I just had a bit more to go on that one. Now you can see that we can see the actual lines that are in each one of those flat planes connected to the series of straight lines and what the arc looks like without the softened edges on. Now again the thing about the softened edges, another characteristic is that we turn the smooth normals on and we start to slide this across and you can see there's a point where it finally starts to blend and smooth out but you can actually go too far. You see if I get here and I get too far all of a sudden everything sort of bends together and actually begin to see some edges come back and it almost makes these look flat instead of rounded. So using the soften edges tool is one of those you have to kind of play back and forth till you find the spot that gives you the best illusion of a curve. Now why would you even want to know that or do that? The 12 segment arc takes a lot more detail, a lot more memory and if you're using a computer that isn't as high level maybe as you would like using this kind of an arc might bring your computer to a stop or slow it down considerably very soon where if you reduce the number of straight lines in the arc uh, your computer will be able to work much longer without problems and it will also continue to work faster so you may find you have to modify how you're making your curves based on how you want the surface to look based on the level of computer that you're working with and also how complex of a design you decide to make as you're working with your trailer design. Some things you have to kinda have in mind, keep in mind as you begin to do your actual trailer design. Alright, what I'd like to do now is I'm going to get rid of that one. We don't need it anymore and I'm going to look and show you the other kind of thing that you can do. You'll notice the curve that's created on this image here. This is not all the same radius. It's a sharper radius here and it blends into a longer radius and on this side it comes around. Now this is actually a continuous or even radius where you know this is a changing radius. And again same with the other you can see the effect of the light on it and we can also play with the effect that the smooth tool has on it. Look what happens to that one when we go too far. It really really distorts it to an unrecognizable shape. So again it's it's a moving back and forth and look see there's there's the lines. Look at how they kind of pop in and out as I move that based on where it's located. So you get here and you move this back and forth, you watch this, and you feel for the kind of surface quality that is acceptable to what you're doing. Okay, what we're going to do next is we're actually going to, I'm going to delete that one. I want you to take in your computer.